today is such a beautiful day. It's um, it's obviously winter still. We've got such a spring day that's kicked in. Within a spring day, I can feel a pocket of summer. It just feels really nice. So I'm doing the uh, Sheringham circular walk, and that's where I'm going to take you now. So we're in Sheringham Wood at the minute, and uh, we're walking up to Pretty Corner Car Park. That's a good reference point to start, actually, if you're you know coming in and out of town. <coughs> and then from there, walking to Upper Sheringham, um, and then through Sheringham Park. From there, cliff tops and past the golf course, back to Sheringham. And this is the car park. So anyone out of town, if you head for this car park, this is a perfect starting point for you. If you look online, there is a map of um, Sheringham Circle, so you can see where you can go from here. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, pretty corner woods. So if you start off here, perfect. You walk out of the car park and just go down here. Just keep going down here, cross the road at the bottom, cross hallway road at the bottom here, straight on. Okay, run across here, Cranfield Road, car park's just up there. Just go down here. I've always been into outdoors. Um, as a little boy, my dad always used to take me to the Peak District. I used to live in Sheffield um, many years ago, but obviously old Yorkshiremen were always walking, so it's always been in me to, you know, to keep walking everywhere, up hills and down hills. And Sheffield's got a lot of them. I moved from Sheffield to Sheringham in 2005, so I've been here quite a while. Um, yeah, got into the groove of it now. It was a little bit hard adjusting when I got here. Um, yeah, very slow pace it felt. And as soon as the good weather went and it were like really bleak in Christmas time, I kind of felt really homesick. And then I got a little job in Norwich and um, you know that's when things felt different. And now I go back to Sheffield basically for my holidays, um, catch up with friends, family and uh, you know go for a drink around places I used to go a lot <laughs> so um, but yeah so right we're coming to sharing up and showing them now And we're in Sheringham Park. Very nice here. We'll go and have a look there. I've been up for a while. So yeah, we're set up here. Looking up to this gate here, this kind of splits off. So turn right, that's going to take us to the cliffs straight on. It's going to take us to Weyburn, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I've only lived here 15 years, coming up 16. Um, so yeah, we'll go through these gates, walk down here a little bit, stop for a brew, and then we'll head to the cliffs. usually stop off here for a little drink on this little bench here but you see that tree line over there I'm gonna go in there and uh, boil up a coffee so all good I'm ready for it yeah the minute um, 
I weighed myself just after Christmas and I was I got myself to 15 stone. It's obviously all this lockdown and Christmas food. I just didn't keep an eye on it. So uh, this time of year to get ready for spring and the upcoming season, I always go crazy uh, walking. It's the best thing ever for you. Don't bother with gyms anymore. I just try and do, I'd say, between 12,000 and 15,000 steps a day if you can. Obviously I have some chill out days. But I do that simply because I work at weekends on like an emergency service, so I've got to work Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, so I'm obviously stagnant them days, you know, I'm, I'm totally dead in the water, I'm, I'm shattered them days, but I, then I don't have to work till Friday night when I finish Monday morning, so, you know, I can plan things like this. So I'm just basically doing all these steps and I've, I've dropped over half a stone already, I'm just going over 15 stone, which is like... I don't think I've ever been that heavy, but I weren't very pleased. So I've hit hit the walk in. I want to lose another stone. For a six foot bloke, 13 and a half stone is perfect, so I want to hit that in the next month or so. So I'm just doing this every day, every day. And it's working, best thing for you. So walk in will fix you. Can't beat it. Right, we're going over there for a brew. This will do around here. Yeah, wind's really got up. Um, I'm going to go here instead. Put my uh, little jet boil on that, I think. Sit against this tree. I might put something warm on because it's like really blowing in a minute. and fast. It should be usually take about two minutes to boil to boil the brew there. There you go. It's boiled already. that quick, I haven't even had time to um, get my coffee there. Yeah, the reason why I've picked up um, outdoors again. Um, I once walked in dog in Sheringham, and it's, there's a real, you know, large elderly population in Sheringham, and there's a lot of care homes. And um, I walk in dog, and I went past like a care home where obviously really old people have, have had to go. Um, I'm not being disrespectful there by saying really old people. It's just way it is, obviously, but. Um, as a walk dog you could see inside all these rooms and the people that old in there they were obviously uh, bedridden it you know they were just trapped in the bodies basically 
and it kind of made me think you know we, we always think that life is just a you know continuous pool of time um, you know and time goes really quickly so but limited time and so we've got to make the most of it while we can get around because we'll get to a certain age and we just won't be able to do this so you've got to do this now create memories and get out there and and just enjoy it okay we're hitting the road now just got to go across this little bit and then we can head to the cliffs turbines out there. We're heading that way. And we'll have a little peek over the cliff. The, uh, the big hill there going up to the observation building, whatever you call it. But, uh, so I thought I'd talk to you now. Um, what I've got planned when we um, come out of this lockdown fully, I'm planning on walking from Sheringham to Stalham along the coast. So 90% of the walk will be on the coast. Um, and then from Sea Pauling, from there, I'm going to walk across to Stalham and then I'm going to switch from walking to going boating and then going on a little boating adventure I plan that obviously this year sometime as it gets a little bit warmer but I'm going to be camping out on beach so I'm going to probably I don't know a couple of days to get to Stalham I'm going to do it over a couple of days or three days and take my time because I just want to like you know absorb it in and enjoy every moment of it um, but that's, that's a plan to do 
so I'll be obviously filming that a little bit later but then we'll be going on broad boating and then on another adventure nearly there